Yo, what's up, what's up, family? Hope everybody having a good day. Starting out the week on a great note. We had another great devotional conversation. This week was week 10. Um, our topic was carry your cross. So as you already can tell with the title, this one is straight at you. Just talking about enduring the adversity that we go through in life and the importance of God, you know, sharing that in the Bible to say we have to carry our own cross. And one of the scriptures that was really powerful that I wanted to share with you guys so that you guys can get in this first uh, few minutes, seconds of this call is that if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And and what do you what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is it anything worth more than your soul? And that's Matthew chapter 16, verses 25 through 26. That that scripture right there is a lot to unpack because it talks about if you think that you're gaining your life by going after it, you're going to lose it. But if you give your life up, that you're doing the things that God is calling you to do, not doing what your flesh wants to do, not doing what you want to do on your own schedule, but giving it up to God and say, God, I'm your disciple. What is it that you're calling me to do on a Sunday? What are you calling me to do on a Monday? What are you calling me to do on a on the middle of January, um, what is it that you want me to do? I'm here to do it because this life that I have is not my own. And we have to take that on every day. We have to be able to carry that cross and say, God, whatever it is that you need me to do, I'm here to do it. If you, if I'm driving, I'm going down the street and this person over here hungry, and maybe I normally wouldn't even do it because I'm like, man, that person get a job. And you say, hey, go get them a, go get them a sandwich. Go, go give them a sandwich and give them $20. Like if God is telling you to do that, we have to be obedient to do that. Because in our own life, we say, man, I'm not doing that. I'm already got to go to work. I'm picking up. I'm doing something else. I don't got to do it. But again, if you let go of your life and you realize that our life is not for ourselves, then we understand that we're on assignment everywhere that we go. So time matters, but it doesn't matter to God. Because God going to already work out wherever you is going and make that time and fit or bless you beyond whatever it is that you are going to do. Because you're doing the will of God. So that's a, a powerful thing that really we talked about, like going through adversity, going through those challenges and the benefits of us going through those adverse moments of life is that we build intimacy with God because in those tough moments of life, it's funny because when things are going good, sometimes we, we feel like we don't have to go to God. We feel like, oh, it's going good. We don't only go to God with something going wrong, right? Which that's not the truth. We should be going to him even in those Moments when it is good to just give God his glory, give God, you know, his honor, just saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, right? But in those challenging moments, we know we go to God. <laughs> like, we're going to be on our knees. We're going to be praying. We're like, God, please, please. Every minute of the day, we're going to be just on our mind. We're going to be worrying about it. We're going to be praying, just saying, God, are you hearing me? God, are you hearing me? And so, and I think, and I think from my personal perspective, I feel like that's why God has us go through those moments because he wants us to get close to him. Because if things are just going good, we don't feel we're ungrateful as people. We feel like, oh, we just talk to him whenever we feel like, you know, I'm going to watch this TV show over God. I'm going to go to this event over God. But no, I said, well, the guy like, okay, let me put these little... Th these little blocks in your life because I need you to get better. I need you to strengthen your faith. I know I need you to get stronger in your reading, stronger in fasting, stronger in building a better community of people that you're hanging out with so you can be able to go through the things that I need you to go through to fulfill the purpose that I have over your life. So that's so important for us to understand the reason for God putting these obstacles in our life, right? But I also feel like there's another point to this as well is that Sometimes we look at the things that we go through, right? And we feel like, why does God have me going through this? But we also have to take ownership that the things that we go through sometimes is through our own doing. Like some of the stuff that we go through is our own relationships, our own, not our own relationship, the own, our own choices that we make every single day. We have a choice. We have a choice to do right. We have a choice to do wrong. And in those situations where we take, make the wrong decision, we can't then fall back on God, why am I going through this? We have to be able to take ownership to say, you know what? I shouldn't have did that. And I got to make a better decision next time. I need to be better moving forward. So that's another thing as well. Take, make sure you take that gem away, like take ownership. And that was a big thing that we talked about on the call to take that ownership of what it is that you can do to be better. What can you do? And it comes, ties back to obedience you know, doing what God has told you to do. Sometimes we can hear God tell us like, hey, do this. But we like, nah, I ain't doing that. 
We can be lazy. We don't feel like we don't, we feel like we're entitled. We don't have to do that. That's an option when God like, no, I'm telling you to do it. So if I told you to do it, you need to do it because there's benefits not only to you, to that person, to that individual, um, to that whole situation that's going to bring a blessing upon your life. And again, it might not necessarily be monetary or physical, but it could be a spiritual blessing where now you have the spiritual strength, the spiritual endurance to be able to provide that testimony to someone else. So when someone else comes to you and say, hey, man, I'm in this situation, you can say, oh, I, oh yeah, I went through that. Or, hey, I helped somebody go through that. Let me connect you with them or, hey, let me tell you what I got from it so that now you can be able to help the next person because that's what it's all about. It's about love. And the way that you able to help other people that you don't even know is through love. You have to have love for humanity. And God tells us that, like, love conquers all. Like, God is love. And these are all things that are in the Bible. So once we have that understanding that we want to love people, we want to do what God is telling us to do, love is ultimately automatically in our heart. We can't take that away. You know, God put that, he He wrote that on our heart. So it's there. We can't take that away. So that's another beautiful thing that I want to share about that. And then one of the other things is talking about building character. Building character was a positive one that we took away from this because oftentimes in life, there's a character trait in us, if not more than one, that God is building up to be better. And sometimes when we first start in our walk with Christ, it could be at level one and God wants us to go with a level 100, whatever it is, we have to continuously grow. And the only way that we're going to be able to grow is that God's putting those obstacles in our life to be able to build our character, putting us in situations where we have to make the right decision. And then when we don't make the right decision, he brings us right back to that same spot. Okay, let's make the right decision. And that's where it comes back to him being an ultimate father because he knows I need to prepare you for what's next to come in life. And the only way you're going to be able to get through it is if you get through this level of life. And I think about it like a video game, like literally in the game, if you don't beat this board, you're going to be on this level for the entire time of the game. You're either going to turn the game off, you're not going to play it no more, or you're going to build a mentality where it's like, no, you know, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. No, you're going to be competitive. And that's where you have to be in life. You have to have a competitor, competitive fire about I'm going after what God has for me and I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, period. So that was what we talked about today. As you can tell, I'm very just hyped up about it because I feel like you need it. There's somebody else that you're going to share this video with that needs it. Um, we all need it. We have to be able to carry our cross because it's so important for our walk with God to increase our faith, to be better um, disciples for God. So I hope that this was a blessing for you guys. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You never know who needs to hear this. Um, and yeah, so that's week 10, Carry Your Cross. I hope that y'all have a great week. To God be the glory. Peace.